And what we're going to do is we are going to work on our background first, and then we're going to let that dry, and then we're going to draw over top of it for the actual cactus. So what I want to do first is we are going to have a really fun time kind of blending a really colorful sky in the background. And what we're going to do is use our biggest brush, and we are going to dip into our white. And I know this seems really silly to start with white on white. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start kind of over in this corner, and I'm just painting a circle. So I hope you can see about the size of that circle, and that kind of gives you an idea. So it's not super huge, it's about that big. So if we actually, if we were to use our brush to measure it, it would be the gold part all the way to the tip of the bristles, and that's how tall that circle is. And then we're gonna blend this. So we want both colors to be wet. So I'm gonna dip right into my yellow paint and I'm gonna go right around the edge of my circle like this. And I'm gonna wipe that yellow off so that it is not a lot of paint on there. And then I'm gonna go back over where that white is. So now we've got kind of a bright sun type look going here. And then the next color we're gonna do out is we're gonna get an orange. So I'm gonna take just a small amount of my red and a small amount of my yellow, and I'm gonna make a nice orange. Now again, I wanna work kind of quickly because I want these colors to blend together. And the only way that they're gonna to blend together is if they are wet. Now notice how many times I've gone over that spot. I just kept going over it. So over here, I'm gonna get a lot of that extra paint off again. And since this is the darker color, I'm gonna get a lot of this extra paint off and then I'm gonna dip into just my yellow. So I didn't wash off my brush, but just my yellow. And if I go back over, look at how many times I can go over this. And that's what's really gonna blend it, is the more you go over it. Okay, if you start to lose a color, like if you start to lose your yellow, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is just add that yellow back in. Right now my concern is that I'm gonna lose my yellow and I've got too much orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse off my brush. And when I rinse off my brush and I get it all nice and rinsed out, I'm gonna dry it off really good. And then I'm gonna dip back into that yellow. And when I do that, that's what's gonna bring my yellow back out. But if I left that orange on there and just tried to keep putting yellow on it with the orange on my brush, the orange would have taken over the whole thing. So that's why I wanted to really clean off that brush first. Now that I've got that orange, oops, I don't wanna miss this corner. Now that I've got that orange done, I'm gonna go right into the red. The red's pretty bright, so I'm gonna start out here and leave like a little bit of a gap, like this. And I'm not worried about if it's messy or crazy or anything like that. This is just kind of a fun colored background here. And then once I get the majority of that red on again, I want these to blend together, so I'm gonna mix a little bit more of that orange I'm gonna go right back over top so it kind of mixes together. I wanna to add a little bit more yellow here. And then they're gonna to mix together right there. And again, I don't wanna lose that orange, so I'm gonna go ahead, rinse my brush off. I know that we're doing a quick blend here, so if at any time, we're going too fast, you're just gonna pause it, work on the area that you need to work on, and go back in. So I mix a little bit more of that orange. Let me add just more yellow here. That's what's blending them together. See how I keep going over that? more yellow right here. And again, as 
long as I keep going over it, that's what's going to mix it into there. Notice I'm just going in that rounded kind of brush stroke here, like this. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into purple next, which means I need to mix a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. And I've got a purplish color. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start mixing it right here. Now as I come down towards the ground, I want to make sure that I leave enough for the ground. So I haven't quite come down super far yet. I come right in here with that red and blend those in. Like that. And again, I want to a little more red in there so I don't completely lose it. So I'm going to wash off that brush, dry it off really good, go into just my red, and bring that back out. And then last but not least, we're going to go into that blue, which I didn't even rinse off that brush because I've got that purple on there. That's okay. We want those to blend anyways. And what I'm going to do with my blue now is I'm going to find where my ground is going to end up. And so I want to make it kind of a not so straight ground. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend this in for the rest of the sky. Just like that. So we've got our sky done. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna rinse this out. Wipe it off on the side there so that all that extra water goes back into the cup. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some brown. So to make brown, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix a little bit of green. So I mixed my blue with my yellow to make green. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of red into there. And I want a little more yellow. We've got a nice brown there. Then I just want to lighten it up here just a little bit. And I'm going to take it right on here. And what I want to do is get this all spread out. And I don't mind having some streaks of yellow in there, so don't worry. over like this now I want to be careful where I hold it to finish this off because all of my sky is still going to be wet so I'm going to be real careful if your table is covered you can always lay it down flat too
I've got some ground here. I can also add a little bit of white. So I just put white on my brush and then I'm putting it right on top. Just lightening some areas up here. It's got lots of color going in this background so far. So that's what it looks like so far. We're gonna put it down and we're gonna let it dry completely before we move on to the next part. So go ahead and rinse out those brushes, get them nice and dried off. So now that it's dry, what we're gonna do is we are gonna to start to draw our cactus. Um, now, what I wanna show you, since this is a little bit dark, I wanna kinda of give you an idea. First, I'll just draw it on a plate. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the main part of the cactus and it stays pretty much the same width the whole time and then we're just going to come out on each side but one side is going to be lower than the other so this side is going to come out Kind of like that. So you're going to kind of do a shape similar to this, but we're actually going to make this a little bit shorter. Like that. So we're going to, that's kind of the idea of what we're going to do. So the first part is we want to make it, I'm going to come up into the sky here. Straight up and down and then those sides it's gonna come out just a little bit come back around and connect back and then this side remember on the drawing I should have kept it down a little bit but on this side I'm gonna come up a little bit higher so this is where this one goes I'm going to come up a little bit higher on this side and I'm going to come kind of down like that so I'm thinking thinking that's pretty good if you want to do more than one you can do more than one I'm going to stick with just this for now and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix some green. I got a little more yellow on my plate. I'm going to mix some green. So I'm going to use my blue and yellow. And you're going to use as much blue or yellow as you want to get the color green that you want. You don't need to mix a ton because we're just doing a small cactus. It's not anything very large. So... You don't need to mix a ton, but you do want to make sure that you've got the color that you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lighten it just a little bit. And then I'm using my biggest brush and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this in. And the harder I press down with this brush, the wider it gets. So I can just really fill that space up. And I want to go ahead and then I'm going to make my brush strokes kind of follow the way that this one is going. Like that. And then I'm going to follow this one again.
And then I'm going to take a little bit of blue, not a lot of blue, and I'm going to add that to my green. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it kind of around the cactus here just to give it a little bit of color change here. And again, I'm going to let this dry for a minute because we're going to work on the uh, little poker stick things. So to do the pokers of the cactus coming out, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of roll into my yellow paint here. I'm also going to dip a little bit into my white. I want kind of a little bit of a blend on my brush. And then what I'm going to do is I want to press very, very lightly with this brush. I don't want to press super duper hard. So I'm going to barely touch my canvas and I'm just going to make a couple little lines like that. And then I'm just going to cover the cactus wherever I want with these lines. And I'm just going to keep dipping in as much as I want. Don't be afraid to go on the edge of the cactus because that is what would happen. So we don't want to be afraid to do that. reload your brush whenever you need. So we're going to come all the way down here. And I've got yellow and white going on my brush at the same time. So sometimes you're going to see a little more yellow, sometimes you're going to see a little more white. following this line all the way down. side ones. We're going to add just kind of a few here. Again, don't be afraid to add to the top and to those sides. As we get kind of around here, we want to kind of round. So see how I'm not going straight up and down anymore? Going kind of around there. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but the opposite way over here. But again, I'm not going to worry about if I go into the sides here. That's actually a good thing. Just kind of making some little wispy lines here. And then... We can go ahead, make sure this biggest brush is rinsed out here. And we can go into that brown again. And we can do a little bit of a shadow. Kind of come out around it like that for some fun. And then the only other thing that I want to do, clean off the small brush again, dry it off, 
and make that green a little bit darker with that blue again. So it's a little bit darker and then right where the arms kind of meet here, I'm going to give it a little line so that it can just differentiate just a little bit more than it was. And that's it. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to rinse off those brushes, get them nice and dried so that you're ready for next time.